This is Father Volodymyr Zablonsky, and I welcome you yet to another episode of uh, Online Orthodox Cooking Show. And today, uh, by the request of a good friend of mine, so this is for you, Roman, uh, I'm going to remake uh, the videos in which I taught how to make a sourdough starter. Uh, they're not included in this channel. I have uh, another YouTube channel where I have them. The quality of those videos are pretty bad. We didn't have a good camera at the time. Uh, lighting was, wasn't good. So this is a good opportunity, but also for, it's a good opportunity for me to have another starter at hand because right now I have only uh, a starter that is being fed by white flour, white all-purpose flour. Uh, when you start make, uh, when you begin to make a sourdough starter, I always advise to use a whole wheat flour or maybe rye flour. Uh, today I couldn't find um, a rye flour so I'm going to use whole wheat flour and the process will take about five to six days depending to the conditions you have um, you know in your house temperature and so forth. So it's really simple to do all you need to do to to start is a heaping tablespoon of whole wheat flour. Uh, in addition, you will need pineapple juice, uh, the kind that has uh, it's written uh, no sugar added. Somewhere on the box there should be. Uh, it's a gluten free. Uh, no sugar added. Anyway, I used this in the past. Uh, when you look, when you look, I think it's in, in the other container uh, that has uh, indication that there's no sugar added. And if I can only open it. So all you need to do is to put uh, a tablespoon of this juice into uh, the flour and mix it. Mix it make it a little bit mess like this in your uh, you you, you kind of have to judge by the I'm gonna add a little bit more juice because I want it not to clump together like it's doing right now I just want it to be uh, more or less like a better consistency and the reason we put the juice in, you know, the originally you would start make your starter basically mixing flour and water together. But there was in the process, like in the second day of making the starter, the bad bacteria that you don't want them present in your starter, they begin to be to be very active and kind of almost fools you to think that you achieve success. And on the second day, it's almost impossible. So you need about four, five, sometimes six or seven days to really get your starter going. And the pineapple juice has this um, perfect pH level that avoids growth, initial growth of the bad uh, bacteria and kind of bypasses it until the yeast, the wild yeast that is present on the grain is awoken and you create perfect environment for um, for it to thrive uh, and grow I'm gonna just a little bit so basically this is it you you let this sit in the room temperature for 24 hours if you want to come you can come once in a while and mix it I'm gonna I'm gonna just close it so no critter, critters come in and um, in 24 hours you you're going to feed it again with a tablespoon of pineapple juice and a tablespoon spoon of um, whole wheat flour and we will continue this process un until there will be a sign that our starter is working and I recommend always recommend when you do this to use a clear or kind of see-through if not clear uh, container so later on in the process you can put a marking with a uh, with a pen 
to see how much uh, the starter rises and stuff like that. So I hope you can follow me in this video and I will, I will see you tomorrow for the video number two in how to make a sourdough starter. Give us thumbs up on YouTube, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel.